Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos, and today we're gonna to take a look at how to use events in Final Cut Pro X. So several of you have asked me in my Final Cut Pro X tutorials how to use events because I didn't really explain them and that's because for most of the stuff I'm creating, uh, YouTube videos and usually uh, client projects, I don't use them. The only instance where I do use events is when I'm working on wedding films. And today, I'm just gonna jump straight into the computer and show you how to use events. So here we are in my desktop. Uh, I'm gonna open up this, this external hard drive and here I have a wedding that I'm working on. I shot this recently and this is the different SD cards, camera one, two, three, and four. You could probably do a different folder structure. This is just what I use. This is what came off of the SD cards. This is uh, what came off of the DJ, this is audio. This is uh, from the Zoom H1 because I recorded speeches and also the officiant. So here's a project. I'm going to open this up. This is what it looks like. If you want to open up this section, the browsing or the library, it's control command one, control command one to close and open. All right. So these are events, right? This is stuff, I, events I created. I created one for the speeches, one for the dances, one for the ceremony, one for the cake cutting, the wedding film. And so what it helps you do is separate out your different footage. Let's take, for example, the cake cutting. I created a new event. I called it cake cutting. And then I created a project called cake cutting as well. And then I imported just the video footage of the cake cutting. In this case, I have only two video clips. These were two different angles, two different cameras that I was capturing the cake and then I was capturing the couple, right? And what I did is I created a multi-cam clip. I selected them both, uh, new multi-cam clip and it creates this and then I can edit a multi-cam. I have a video on how to do multi-cam if you're interested in that. So anyways, I did this for cake cutting and then I did it for the ceremony. For the ceremony, I had audio running from on the officiant, the Zoom H1. And here's an audio clip that corresponds to the ceremony. And then the task cam was uh, running to the DJ mixer. And then they, I had two cameras running, right? So it just makes it easier to find your footage or to import it in a certain location. That way you can quickly access uh, what you need. The other way of doing it is you can just import all the video footage into one event, right? Because let me show you, if you just, uh, when you create a new project or let's say a new library, what happens is you name your library, uh, let's call it, uh, or you know what? I don't wanna create a new one. Let's just open this one I already had. This is a new library and it already has by default Final Cut Pro X creates a new event. Usually it just names it the date, right? And then you create a, your your project and then you can dump in all your footage. But with, with weddings, you have to be more deliberate. You have to be more organized. Otherwise, you're just gonna have footage all over the place, especially when you're recording a bunch of small video clips, B-rolls and all this kind of stuff. You wanna separate out your footage. That way you can quickly access and, and just work on what you need to one, one thing at a time, right? So let me close this file, close library. And there, we're back at our wedding. So these are the different ones, different events that happen, the cake cutting, the ceremony, the dances. In this case, uh, there was a couple different dances. So I created different projects for it. There's like the shoe question game and the the dances with just people dancing and the first dance and parents, parents dance. That looks kind of funny. Uh, and then some stuff that I just took out. I didn't want to delete it. I just took it out just in case I use it later. So and now I'm building out the wedding film. And this is where I dumped all the B-roll footage. Look at all that footage I took of B-roll. It's a bunch of it, right? I didn't want this to mix with the dances and the speeches. So that's why I created events. That's the only reason you would want to create events. It's just so you can get, stay organized and know exactly where you can grab your footage. All right, so how do you create a new event? Let's get to that, I haven't explained it. So here's our library, these are our events. The only thing you need to do is right click, new event, and you wanna rename this. Let's say um, I forgot to add, or I haven't done the cake cutting, do cake cutting, and I'm gonna name it number two because I already have an event called cake cutting. And I wanna create under this library and I'm gonna create a new project for it. Okay, hit okay, 
Go to cake nut cutting number two, untitled project. Let's rename it to cake cutting number two. Maybe there was a second cake or something, right? And now the, what I want to do is bring in that footage for that corresponds to this project or this little video clip that I'm going to create for them. So command I to import and you go through the same process of importing your footage. Now you can just uh, sync whatever you have here. If you have two cameras or audio, you can sync it and import it into your timeline. So that's it. It's that simple. So there you have it. That's how I use events in Final Cut Pro X. For most of us who are just YouTubing, you're probably not gonna touch events, but if you're working on client projects like corporate work or weddings, then it's a good idea to know how to use them, right? So guys, if you have any questions, anything I wasn't clear about, or you know of a better way to use events, any inputs, please share down below. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.